Hello, hello, guys. Welcome one more time to my channel. So in today's class, what we're going to do, okay, is this, what you have on the screen, describing my last Christmas and my last birthday. Well, your last Christmas and your last birthday. So let's get started. So as usual, okay, if you remember, we were practicing, practicing some verbs in present and past form uh, because you were supposed to create a paragraph about your last vacation. So today we're gonna create a paragraph about your last Christmas and last birthday. That's what we're gonna do. But before we get started, let's go to pronunciation about present and past verb form. So here we go. Pronunciation, go, went, be, was, and where. Do, did, enjoy, enjoyed, eat, ate, drink, drank, meet, met, stay, stayed, return, returned, feel, felt, burn, burnt, have, had, dance, danced, receive, received. One more time, go, when, be, was, and where. Do, did, enjoy, enjoyed, eat, ate, drink, drank, meet, met, stay, stayed, Turn returned, feel felt, born burnt, have had, danced danced, received received. So guys, that's the pronunciation about these verbs. Previously, I was mentioning and also telling you what's the meaning of these verbs. And as I promise you, okay, next video I'm gonna be telling you, explaining to you the different um, pronunciation from the regular verbs. But that's next video. So let's continue, guys. This is okay, what we have right now, last vacation. I hope you did it. Espero que lo hayan hecho, all right? So you can continue speaking. So a follow-up activity about this, about this one that you're watching on the screen is this one right here. What do you do in your last Christmas? So this is an example from one of my students. So I'm gonna read it for you. The question was, what do you do in your last Christmas? Last Christmas, I remember I stayed home and we met with my son, Xavier, to celebrate Christmas. It was fantastic. We did many activities like playing board games and watching movies. We were drinking red wine, white wine, and cava. Besides, we had dinner together. We ate dorada a la sal, or in English, is golden salt. Finally, we went to bed at midnight. So this is a description of one of my students describing last Christmas. So if you notice one more time, do you remember I was explaining to you how to use like that after this word, you need to use or the ING form for all the activity that you could mention. In this case, it's like playing board games and watching movies. Even though the activity is into the progressive form, the meaning is going to be in present, okay? Remember that. Remember, if you don't remember, watch my previous video, which is about last vacation. There is explanation. So that's example describing last Christmas from one of my students. Next one. What do you do in your last birthday? Okay, that's the question. Que hiciste en tu Cumpleaños pasado. What do you do on your last birthday? Oh, why? So here we go. In my last birthday, I enjoy with my family. So we were drinking cava. Also, we ate a chocolate cake. Besides, we had a lot of fun. I received a beautiful shoulder bag. Finally, I felt really older but happy. So here we go. One more time. What do you do in your last birthday? In my last birthday, I enjoy with my family. So we were drinking cava. Also, we ate a chocolate cake. Besides, we had a lot of fun. Nos divertimos mucho, okay? We had, besides, we had a lot of fun. Nos divertimos muchísimo. I received a beautiful shoulder bag, okay? Me dieron, me dieron una hermosa, okay? Cartera de hombro, okay, shoulder bag. Finally, I felt older but happy. Finalmente, yo ese día me sentí más vieja pero feliz, okay, like that, o más viejo pero feliz. Finally, I felt really older but happy. 
So that's a short description about last Christmas and last birthday. So those are two examples, okay, from one of my students. So here we have the format, as usual. Aquí tienen el formato de cómo van a completar y hablar acerca de su last Christmas, y de cómo van a hablar acerca de su last birthday. So here we have, what do you do your last Christmas? Last Christmas, I remember I went to my grandmother's house in Yusulutan. And we all met there to celebrate Christmas. It was fantastic. So here you need to change, right? So uh, here I put that yo fui a la casa de mi abuela en Usulután, but there you can change it. Lo tienen que cambiar ahí, right? And then you continue. We all met there to celebrate Christmas and it was fantastic. We did many activities like, aquí tienen otra vez la palabra esta, okay? Hicimos muchas actividades como Remember, every time that you put an activity has to be into the progressive form. Remember, activities like dancing, salsa, okay? Talking with my family, okay? Playing video games, I don't know, okay? So you need to put one, two, three, four, five, six different activities, and then you continue. And we were drinking one and two. You need to put two examples about two different drinks that you were drinking. Besides, we pour crackers. Además, nosotros reventamos cohetes. That's what it means, we pour crackers. Quemamos, reventamos cohetes. We pour crackers. And we had dinner together. And we ate, y comimos, we ate. You need to put one, two, three, four different meals that you ate that day, okay? In your last Christmas. Finally, I went to bed at... So I put here PM and I put AM next day. So in my case, I went to bed at 3 AM next day. So that's my example. And that's the way that you can complete this paragraph. Next one, about your last birthday. In my last birthday, I enjoy with my, ustedes ponen ahí, with my family, friends, cousins, I don't know. Girlfriend, husband, wife, sons, daughters, I don't know, I don't know. You put the information right there. Con quienes disfrutaron. So we were drinking and you need to put one, two, three different drinks, okay, that you had that day. And we ate, y nosotros comimos, and we ate one, two, three, four, five different meals, okay, that you ate that day in your last birthday. I remember the party banner. I remember the party banner. ¿Qué es el party banner? El party banner es el, el banner donde dice, feliz cumpleaños, happy birthday, okay? That's the banner, okay? Party banner, party banner. That was great. Besides, we dance all night long. <laughs> we dance all kind of music, okay? Electronic music, rock and roll, salsa, cumbia, I don't know. So we had a lot of fun, nos divertimos mucho. We had a lot of fun. I received, okay? Remember we're talking about your last birthday. So here you need to put que recibiste. I received, and you need to mention one, two, three, four. Four different, uh, you need to mention four different uh, gift that you had that day. I don't know. Uh, money. I received money, clothes, and uh, let's see, uh, gift cards and uh, shoes. Okay, like that. So four different items that you received that day for your Christmas. Okay. Finally, I felt really tired at night, but happy. Okay, finalmente me sentí muy cansado en la noche, pero feliz, okay? Finally, I felt really tired at night, but happy. Okay, guys, so here we have the two formats for you to complete it using different information about your last birthday, last Christmas. And that's something that you have to do to talk more in English. How are you going to do it? Remember, number one, you need to write it. Number two, you need to tell it. Number three, record an audio. Tienen que grabar un audio, okay? 
para que ustedes escuchen. So you can listen to yourself. And then I'm going to be uploading or creating another video. How are you going to tell this information in a presentation? But that's going to be in the next, on the next video, okay? So guys, so basically this is a way that we do this, talking about describing your last Christmas and your last birthday. So guys, this is the way that we finish, okay, this class and this video. I hope you learn more and to practice more English with me. Very easy, very simple. See ya. Goodbye.